All right. <clears throat> I have another precision electric screwdriver. Um, and like the other ones that I've done so far, I'm not going into a lot of details or in depth with each one of them, just kind of an overview and kind of let you know what they are and what they features they have. Um, because I intend to, I still got, I think it's two or three still supposed to come in. Um, until they're all in, then I'm going to do kind of a comparison with all of them. And in any of these so far, I can't really stop them with my hand. As I mentioned in the other video, the uh, fat wrench I have that I used with gunsmithing um, to torque a screw and then use the rest of these to get that screw out or if they can, see which ones can, uh, to try to give an idea as to, because I really don't have any way to test if the torque uh, settings that they say are in these screwdrivers are accurate. Uh, I don't have a way of, of testing that beyond using a an existing torque wrench, a mechanical torque wrench, to torque some uh, screw or something at a certain torque, and then use one of these to to break it loose. So this one is again, uh, it's it really doesn't have a name. Um, the features on it you can see uh, it kind of looks like one of the other ones that uh, has been reviewed uh, except the difference is on the end here it's got this plastic section where I, which I think are all the um, the the gears uh, in in this section right here which actually give it the torque ratio that this setting is going to apply um, let's see I really don't see any distinguishing marks. This is from Timu. Uh, I believe the, the description in Timu said uh, precision electronic uh, 50 in one screwdriver kit or set. So this is the box that comes in. I've already opened it up and looked at it and kind of checked things out. Uh, this is uh, the different bits, styles that it has. Go okay, from there. You can see it's got a dot matrix uh, screen on this one. The other one that this looks almost like um, doesn't have the screen. It doesn't have the plastic section down here, which I'm sure it has gears in there, but it's just, it looks a lot like this one right here, which kind of goes to tell you that uh, when you're, you're looking on Timu, uh, AliExpress, or any of those other websites, and you see these screwdrivers that, that look just like another one, uh, they can be vastly different. On your display, first of all, you've got the battery uh, indicator, which is somewhat shaped like a battery, and indicates the as it's charging what it is, and it's completely filled when there's a full charge. This is showing your torque settings. You have three, one, two, and three. Uh, this is a little arrow that basically goes left or right, showing that you're uh, tightening or loosening whatever it is that you're you're working on this controls uh, if you if you hold it down for a couple seconds the light comes on a hot second a couple seconds again the light goes back out and if you tap it then it changes the torque it goes increments up one till it hits three then wraps back around to one two three one two three and that's all that that button right there does <clears throat> on the end it's got a USB-C uh, connector and that's what's used to charge it. It charges about the same, uh, takes about the same amount of time as uh, the other screwdrivers. I think they're roughly around the same range because in, in this category because uh, I think they all have roughly the same battery. Uh, I think uh, this one is a 400 milliamp battery and the other one that looks just like it is a 350 I think. Uh, they call it first gear. <laughs> I, I don't know, but uh, anyway, first gear is 0 0.05 newton meters. Uh, second gear is 0 0.2 newton meters. Third gear is 0 0.4 newton meters. 
And this gives, kind of gives you an idea of your battery letter level. Whenever the, all the dots are filled, it's 100%. When about half of the battery shows filled, it's 20%. And when it's just the outline of a battery, it's 0%. So uh, the basic uh, parameters are 3.7 volt DC. Takes 80 to 90 minutes to charge, which usually it doesn't take that long. Uh, at least the other one I have. It says about that, or I think it, 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 it's implied that it takes at least an hour to charge, but it doesn't. It only takes probably 20 minutes. Uh, charging input is, of course, uh, USB-C 5 volt at 0.28 milliamps, or 280, uh, let's see... 280 milliamps is 0.28 amps, so that would be 280 milliamps. Sorry, a little confusing there. Uh, battery capacity is 400 milliamp hours. No load uh, speed. In other words, if you're not turning a screw or anything, it's just spinning on its own. It's 240 RPM. Uh, I think the other one that's like this one is 200. Um, Manual torque, I think that's about, this is about normal for all of these, of this, this range is three newton meters. And then, of course, it gives you the, the list again of the individual torque settings. So, let's take a look at the screwdriver. Now, again, just like the other one, uh, I think the other one was just a different color, but it's the same, uh, the same magnetizer and demagnetizer. This one actually says it on there. Uh, let's grab a couple bits out of here and do an example. So nothing. Now let's go to the magnetize. Just kind of run around in there. I think the longer you you work it, the stronger the magnetism is. I'm, I can't be 100 percent sure on that, but I think so. Uh, and it picks it up. Now, come up here on the demagnetizer and kind of run it around. And now a lot of these you just push it in and out a few times and it works, but I just kind of goose it around in there a bit. And there you go. It's no longer, no longer magnetized. It's as simple as that. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the way this works is you have a magnet here and here and by the polarity so to speak of the battery or I mean the magnet or the uh, north and south pole of the magnet the way they're facing uh, somehow and I don't understand magnets that well but somehow magnetizes the bit and then on the top up here you notice it's open on the top and so it's the opposite side of the bat the mag why, why I'm keep trying to say battery but uh, the top of the magnet actually causes the uh, the electrons or whatever it is I don't know to uh, fall away and so it loses the, uh, the magnetism so you get a little kit here let's get this out and I think all of these come with a little short charging cable and I usually just take this and plug it into the back of the screwdriver plug it into the computer and let it go or at least the one that I've had for a while a good friend of mine bought it for me and uh, give it to me and I've used it a lot um, and so that's how I've always uh, charged it and I'm sure this one be the same this one's got a little more weight than that one could, could be because it's a denser battery that's in it because it's 400 milliamp hours and the other one's uh, 350 and then with the uh, display or the dot matrix display and whatever else it is it, it is a little bit heavier so here you've got a pry tool it's got a little bit of flex to it I think it's a pretty decent pry tool uh, I don't really use pry tools uh, I usually take a screwdriver and ram it in there and break it apart. Uh, but I'm always working on my stuff, so 
<laughs> it doesn't matter if I was working on somebody else's stuff, I'd have to use something like that right there. Guitar picks, special guitar picks uh, for prying and popping screens off of phones or just whatever. A uh, couple of these, which is kind of the same as these right here. They uh, narrowed down, just kind of like the, the little guitar picks here. It's got this reinforcement ring, which gives it a lot more a lot more strength. And I assume that's what the purpose of that is. But again, uh, great for prying stuff up and getting underneath little lips of screens and whatnot. And the screwdriver. So, again, the, this button right here, hold it, light comes on, hold it for a couple seconds, light goes out, then, of course, you hit the bottom button, and I don't know how well that, the, the light's so bright, it may not be showing up very good. Uh, I can see it good like that, but I'm not sure... I can't see it in the screen so but it's got an arrow well if you can't see it it's pointing that away because righty tighty lefty loosey uh, this way the arrows pointing back like this way to indicate that it's screwing uh, or unscrewing something of course the battery indicator shows that it's a full charge uh, one click that goes to torque setting two torque setting three back to torque setting one and so, trying to hold the end of it here, it's still turning. I can't stop it. Let's go up to torque setting three. And of course, I can't even remotely stop that one. Uh, of course, that is slick. Maybe if there was a little bit of, and that is a little bit of flex in the end of that there. It does turn a little bit. Um, maybe if there was, some some knurling on there I might be able to hold it I don't know uh, chances are probably not but uh, there's the USB-C port uh, no other markings on it this here says precision electronic screwdriver and that's really all it says and so uh, to actually get a little bit of a demonstration and, and stuff from this right here uh, that will come whenever I get all the rest of the screwdrivers in and I'm trying them all against one another the type and all that. Some are quiet, some are not. Some are motion sensing, some are not. But uh, just kind of give you an idea of the RPMs. That's forward. And that's reverse. So uh, that's just a little quick overview of uh, this screwdriver. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks. And God bless.